users tab is where we will create users to assign keys to. Uh, this tab has a few more options than most of the tabs in the software. When we add a new user, we would just click on the Add New User button. Uh, users show up in a blue font on the left hand side. Openings show up in green. Users show up in a light blue. To add a new user, we would click on Add New User. The only required fields under the Add New User tab are the first name and the last name. All other fields are optional. If we wanted this user to have to revalidate their key using a PIN number, we could give them a PIN number under Use PIN. If we wanted this user to be able to log into the software, we would give them a security role, and at that point we must give them a username and a password. The password must have at least eight characters, one number, and one symbol as part of that eight character string. We can give a user three different roles. Key holder, which will simply allow you to log in and download the key client. If you are using Bluetooth keys, you must have a username and a password for the user no matter what their security role is. If we choose operator role, a user can be granted access to create schedules or to view audits or to have full access to schedules or just view schedules. We have these abilities. An operator cannot assign keys to users or assign cylinders to openings. If we wanted this user to have full access to the software, we would set them up as an administrator and give them a username and a password. And then this user, as an administrator, when they log into the software, have the ability to do everything that a super administrator can do within the group that they are placed. So an administrator can be placed within a subgroup and only have access to the elements in that group or it can be placed in the global group and have access to everything in the system. So the three security roles are a key holder, an operator, and an administrator. And if you are going to assign a Bluetooth key to a user, they must have a username and a password no matter what security role you give them.